Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm super excited to share this topic because, well, it's something that I initially was one of my big passions is I got into finance because my goal was to educate people on how financial products work, how, how to save, how to prepare for the future. And I was really inspired when I got involved to do all this stuff and get involved in sharing this information with people and simple rules on saving and all this. And, and eventually it led me to realize I'm like, well, this whole system's kind of broken. And I had to get out of finance and ended up starting making crystal pyramids and like EMF protection devices. And that really changed my life because I went from student type business guy to hippie crystal guy. And since then I've helped thousands of people, but that aside, getting back to the finance, I couldn't do it because, well, one, I wasn't help I didn't feel like I was helping people anymore. And that was one of the big aspects of me making that transition was I needed to be in my integrity. Now, one of the biggest things with my integrity was that I needed to do what was right. And I saw that the financial system was broken. And one of the big things for me was we're at that time, we're printing money like crazy. Now, this was like 12 or 13 years ago, way before we started doing everything we're doing now, which is printing money like absolute craziness. Just like boom, 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 or a trillion dollar bailout here, a trillion dollar bailout there. It's, it's definitely something I feel we all need a little bit of understanding in what's going on right now. So I want to share a little bit of my insights on what's happening, what's going on, why we need to be concerned about what's going on. I mean, first off, this is kind of, we're coming to the end of an era. The dollar isn't probably going to last much longer. And I say that because every single fiat currency that's ever been around has failed. Rome, right before it failed, did everything we're doing, which is printing of their currency and eventually their currency collapsed, which led to the fall of Rome. So we are in that transitioning in that collapse of an empire. And I say that not lightly because we are going to experience a transition. Now, the reason I'm making this video is I hope that transition is with us coming together instead of us giving our power away to basically central banks. Now, what's going on right now is the central banks have for the past hundred years been allowed to print money. So they've never done an, an audit on any of these banks, on any of these institutions that are central banks. And basically, central banks have been in, instituted in pretty much every major country around the world. And that aside, these banks control what's going on in those countries. They set policy, they set money, they set dictates, they basically control that country. And when the country can't pay its debts, they take it over. And we're seeing that all over the world. It's, it's disgusting what these banks have done. Now, what's going on right now is they're printing money like crazy, and we're going to see people lose faith in the dollar. Now, the only thing that backs a fiat currency is the faith in, of people investing and using that currency. Now, if people lose faith in that currency, that fiat currency loses value. And now you go back to the Weimar Republic and you go back to Zimbabwe and you see hyperinflationary because they had to keep printing money because people, it, they kept devaluing it. So now, well, we'll take a million dollars of your currency, but we'll, we won't take a hundred thousand dollars anymore. But if you give us a million dollars of it, yeah, that's, it's still worth, that's still worth something. Now in six months, that may not be worth as much. So people may be unloading it. So that devalues it even more. So we're going to see something like that occur where people are going to unload our dollars. And actually that's already occurring. So that's why I'm making this video because stuff like that is already happening. And to be prepared, you have to prepare for these things in ways that we don't understand right now. We don't know what's going to happen. It could, I mean, they could keep throwing money at the problem and kick the can down the road for another few years. And that's basically what I've been saying since I got out of finance. As long as they keep throwing money at the problem, the problem keeps getting kicked down the road and our children, grandchildren or whatever are going to eventually have to deal with it. And truth is, is we're the generation that's going to have to deal with it. And right now is that time. Now, the thing is, is what they're trying to do is get us in so indebted, so in, impoverished that we beg for relief. 
And that relief is going to come as a central bank digital currency. And now the reason I say that that's really interesting is because they've been demonizing Bitcoin and all these other cryptocurrencies for so long, but now they want to issue their own. So they're basically saying, oh, these ones are all bad, but if we issue ours, it'll be way better. That's basically what's happening. And you guys, if you sign up for it, we'll eliminate your debts and we'll start this new system and then we'll be on the same credit social score system that China has. And then they can control us. And that's the other reason I'm making this video is if we submit to that control, then we give our power away. And when we give our power away, we lose. And that's the thing we need to do is come together. I'm like, I did a video on, on Ubuntu. It's a model for community-based living. And it's a very good model, and it's been shown to be effective. And once that model spreads, and there will be other models that will develop, that community model will become the new solution. Instead of, well, what we're seeing right now, which is a central bank digital world currency that controls everything. And it's like, no, we can't have that. That's a bunch, when you give people all unlimited power it creates unlimited corruption and that's the thing we need to stop is that corruption when we get back to community living that corruption goes away when we stop giving our power away to others and start utilizing what we have we, we don't we don't face the same issues that people are facing right now and when we work together all those problems disappear so one of my big things right now is don't worry so much about what's going to happen to the financial system. I mean, if you want to make an easier transition, I recommend diversifying as much as you can into different assets. I mean, you can be in some stocks and be in some things and be in some bonds and be in this and be in that, but don't put all your money in one basket. Be in a little bit of gold, be in a little bit of cryptocurrency, be in a little bit of food and other things and, and, and diversify yourself so that if things do crash and things do go away, you still have something to fall back on. And that's my biggest advice is the more diversification, the more prepared you are, the more you understand that we're going into interesting and difficult times to create those connections and to cultivate community, we can, we can change the world in this transition versus go into a totalitarian craziness. And that's what we don't want. We don't want that to happen. We want to change the world. We want to be in a better place. We want everyone to win, succeed, and be better. So if we want to do that, we have to come together versus allow the powers that created this these problems to continue to create these problems. So thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.